Time now for one of our favorite segments of the week, the Pit Parade. Every Thursday here on PTL, we dig deep into the KDKA TV archives to bring you a look at what was happening around town. Here's John Burnett with this week's report. It's the Pit Parade, the picture story of the Pittsburgh scene from the KDKA TV archives. It was the long arm of the law versus the one-armed bandit this week in 1950, and the best man won. This week, local lawmen collected 42 slot machines seized from illegal betting operations. First, they raided the cash drawer, then they put the hammer down. These bandits had hit their last jackpot. Money was on the march in downtown Pittsburgh this week thanks to the March of Dimes. The annual campaign to raise money in the fight against polio was well underway thanks to a volley of female volunteers. Every dime or dollar dropped in these boxes went to fight crippling childhood diseases. We were getting the hook this week. This was National Crochet Week, and Pitt Parade stopped in to see the crocheting contest at St. Francis Hospital. The hospital recognized the therapeutic value of crocheting. In fact, some of these creations had been made by patients themselves. And talk about patients. Imagine having your hair combed like this. This is what a purebred show cat had to go through to get ready for the Pittsburgh Cat Show. Puffy Persians, slick Siamese, and hundreds of other breeds hope to claw their way to the top at the show at Fort Pitt Hotel. We let the cat out of the bag this week in 1950. Saying cheerio on video, I'm John Burnett for the Pit Parade. Really surprised that cat put up with that. <laughs> Watch for more Throwback Thursday fun every week here on PTL when we bring you a new edition of the Pit Parade from the 1940s and 50s. It's been fun to hear from some viewers who recognize friends and family from way back when. If you miss any of these uh, segments, you can find them on our PTL Facebook page.